According to the weight, aviation play a vital role in our country's economy by facilitating international trade in products and people as well as posting economy expenses. An aviation accident can cause serious injuries and even fatalities to human beings and it can have a negative impact on the nation's airlines industries, finance and reputation. Such an environment makes it more dangerous for aircraft to operate. Environmental factors include all weather related to factors, atmospheric conditional related factors, geographical and meteorological condition related factors, natural disaster related factors, altitude related factors and other factors like sun, radiation and laser light. The environmental factor that can have a major impact on aviation operation will be examined in the analysis along with the effective risk management techniques used to reduce the hazard. The purpose of this study is to identify the importance of environmental factors and risk management in aviation industry. At all aviation levels, safety risk management is essential as the situation demonstrates. Risk must be kept at reasonable levels using safety risk management, a systematic approach to asset identification, assessment and mitigation. The relevant controls to reduce the risk of the identification assets are chosen as a part of this process. Safety related assets are productively identified, evaluated and eliminate or mitigate to acceptable level to meet the fundamental goal of risk management which is accident prevention. My name is Muhammad Hayro Fawzami Abdul Halim and my metric number is 286461. Today, I will present about type of environmental factors that affecting aviation industry in Malaysia. The first factor is natural environmental factors. First is weather conditions. Severe weather such as thunderstorms, hurricanes and blizzards can cause flight delays, cancellation and damage to aircraft. Wind patterns like strong winds, particularly cross crosswinds and tailwinds can affect takeoff and land operations leading to safety concerns and operational adjustments fog and visibility low visibility due to fog and or heavy rain can disrupt air operations and pose safety risk during takeoff and landing the second factor is climate change increasing temperatures can affect aircraft performance runway length requirements and fuel efficiency Coastal airports at, are at risk from rising sea levels, which can lead to flooding and infrastructure damage. Climate change can result in more frequent and severe turbulence, affecting flight safety and passengers' comfort. Third is natural disaster. Volcanic eruption. Ash clouds from volcan volcanic eruptions can cause significant disruptions to air travel due to their impact on jet engines and visibility. Earthquakes and tsunamis. These can damage airport infrastructures and disrupt operations, leading to prolonged service interruption. Second factor is regulatory environment factors. Environmental regulations. Government and international bodies impose regulations on carbon emissions noise pollution and other environmental impacts on aviation compliance requires invi investments in new technologies and more efficient aircraft fuel standards regulations on the use of aviation fuels including the push towards sustainable aviation fuels safs affects operational cost and fuel sourcing strategy Second, noise restrictions. Airport curfew. Many airports have noise abatement procedures and curfew to minimize the impact of aircraft noise on surrounding communities which can limit operational hour and flight schedules. Noise abatement procedures. Airline may be required to use specific flight paths and procedures to reduce noise, affecting flight efficiency and fuel consumption. That's all from me. It's Thank Nur you. Amali Natasha Betty Muhammad Zakri. My number metric is 288059. So, I will present the type of factors uh, that are affecting aviation. Okay, firstly, um, operational environmental factors. Firstly, uh, air traffic management. 
high traffic volumes can lead to congestion in the airspace and on the ground that resulting in delays, increased fuel consumption and higher emissions. In addition, military zones, no-fly areas and environmental protection zones can limit available flight path and necessitate uh, longer routes. Okay, secondly, airport infrastructure. Runway length and surface condition uh, must accommodate various aircraft types and weather conditions. Poor infrastructure can lead to the operational inefficiencies and safety concerns. In addition, uh, efficient ground support systems, including baggage handling and refueling, are crucial for minimizing turnaround times and operational delays. Okay, thirdly, technological uh, advancement. Innovations in aircraft design, such as more full efficient engines and lighter materials, can reduce environmental impacts and operational costs. Uh, moreover, uh, advanced navigation system can optimize flight path, uh, reduce fuel consumption, and minimize environmental that uh, affecting aviation is social economic. Okay. Um, firstly, public perception and demand. Uh, increasing awareness of environmental issues among the public can influence travel behavior with more passengers opting for airlines that demonstrate strong environmental uh, credentials. Um, in addition, uh, airlines face pressure to adopt sustainable practices and demonstrate corporate social responsibility, impacting their operational and strategic Hello decisions. Guys. My name is Lim Ziwei. Number metric to SCC03. Now I'm going to present about 3.0 environmental risk identification and assessment. And we proceed to 3.1.2, which is risk identification method. And the first method is environmental impact assessment. And this is a systematic evaluation of the environmental consequences of proposed project. This assessing factors like air quality, water resources, and wildlife, wildlife. And the second method is environmental audits. This is a systematic evaluation of an organization adherence to environmental regulation and standard. And this ensure proper waste management and emission control. And the third method is life cycle assessment. And this is the examination of the environmental impact of aviation product and process throughout their entire life cycle. And this will provide informed decision making on materials. Now we're going to the fourth method, which is carbon footprint. And this carbon footprint calculate the total greenhouse gas emission from aviation operation. And this will give comprehensive understanding of the contribution to climate change. And the fifth method is biodiversity and habitat assessment. This is the evaluation of the impact of aviation activity on local ecosystem and wildlife. And the aim is to protecting the biodiversity. And the sixth is noise impact assessment. And this is the analysis of the effects of aircraft noise on surrounding communities. And the purpose of this assessment is to reduce noise pollution and improving community relation. And the last uh, method is climate change risk assessment. This is the evaluation of the potential impact of changing weather patterns and extreme events on aviation infrastructure and operations. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good day to Dr. Habibah. So today, uh, first I will be uh, introducing myself. My name is Satya Walina Mishan Sofi and my metrics number is 289-541. So first I will uh, present about the 3.1.2, the risk assessment metric, which um, we have found for uh, risk assessment metric, which is the LCA, which is the Life Cycle Assessment, Environmental Impact uh, Assessment, EIA, Risk Matrices and Quantitative Risk, Manage uh, risk Assessment, QRA. So first, I will go through the uh, LCA first. So first, uh, what is LCA? It's a life cycle assessment where they analyze environmental impacts from uh, production to dispose to the disposal. And then it identifies the key areas for environmental improvement. And then uh, for the next one is EIA, which is the environmental impact assessment where they evaluate the potential impacts of new developments uh, or the expansion. And it focuses on the air quality, noise, water, and soil effect where in the environmental, whenever we use to uh, match uh, aviation or aircraft on, on the air, where it can... Uh, Thin, thin the uh, ozone layer. So from the EIA, they can evaluate from there. And next is the risk matrices, where they uh, prioritize the risk uh, by plotting uh, probability uh, against impact. And they ensure the focus to on the most critical environmental issue. So yeah, we use this risk matrices on the most catastrophic and critical environmental issue. So the last one is which is the QRA. They uh, uses the probabil probabilistic modeling to predict the likelihood and the consequences of uh, any incidents that happen uh, regarding this aviation industry. And then they assess risks like fuel spill or emissions um, from the aircraft, which that can lead uh, if it's too uh, much on 
if it's too much exposure from for example the fuel spill might cause um from the water in uh, from the ocean it can uh encapsulate a very catastrophic loss from how the uh, ocean can uh, be contaminated from the fuel spill so i think that's all for me so thank you I very much continue the presentation with the recommendation part so the first recommendation is airline can use the modern technology with the development and full scale validation of additional engine and also a frame noise and emission reduction equipment it will reduce the noise pollution caused by the aircraft and also the consumer feel more comfortable while using the aircraft the second one is airline and the federal Aviation Administration uh, have teamed up to cut fuel use and emission by implementing a variety of measures like uh, auxiliary power unit less, HC with a single engine and also working with air traffic control to find more fuel efficient routes and speed. The last one is about uh, aviation industry collab to create an airport compatibility planning committee which offer a chance for federal agency, planning organization, airport, state and local governments and public interest group to come together and uh, collaborate to uh, solve any problem that arise, especially issue that related to the environmental. That's all from me. I will pass to the next presenter. Thank you. Assalamualaikum and a very good day to Dr. First, I am Siti Hanisa Binti Rizal. My number matrix is 2883332. I will continue the recommendation part. So last but not least, the aviation company have to align insurance coverage with ensure insurance policy. Aviation is one of the most significant growing trends in the aviation sector. To increase public and governmental pressure to cut carbon emission, the sector is looking into alternative fuels such as biofuel, synthetic fuel and hydrogen. This fuel promises a significant reduction in aviation carbon footprint. Furthermore, significant investment is being made in creating electric and hybrid aircraft with more efficient propulsion system, which will help to achieve environmental goals. Airlines are also increasing their participation in carbon offset programs and pursuing efforts to reduce overall carbon emissions, demonstrating a broader commitment to sustainability. Next, airlines are increasingly focused on the passenger experience. Airlines can use big data to provide personalized services and experience, changing anything from seating preference to in-flight entertainment. High-speed internet access is becoming a common expectation, allowing passengers to stay connected and engaged during their voyage. Health and safety have also taken front stage, with enhanced air filtration system and touchless technologies being, de being deployed to promote hygiene and give passengers confidence in the safety of air travel. Next, I want to present the four trust terrors of the aviation industry. First, the terrors of the aviation industry is using trust correctly. The field cost uncertainty is a challenge that can be faced by the aviation industry. The availabilities and cost of aviation farms is a major economic factor that can affect the airline industry. The recent price of farms can influence the financial portfolio and airline fund. Moreover, the farms also have a sustainability challenge. The farms is a not renewable energy, so when a dim is red, it becomes precious. The farms running out of the farms also will be faced by the conventional industry. Next, the infrastructure and capital structure also will be faced by the conventional industry. The airport infrastructure need to consider three be upgrade and modernizers to cope with the risk in the number of the air passions and new type of the aircraft. Moreover, the aviation industry need to maintain and upgrade aircraft sub and aircraft road handling system, which is abundance to the company's financials. Besides, the developments of those risks will cause a sensation of runway structures. It will become a foundation constructor for the regulations aviation sector, so the aviation industry will face a financial challenge in developing and maintaining infrastructure to support the continuous expansion of air travel. I'm Kishini, my matrix number is 287306. In conclusion, the aviation industry is crucial for global economic growth, facilitating international trade and connectivity. Yet, it faces significant challenges related to safety and environmental impact due to increasing air travel volumes. Effective risk management strategies such as environmental impact assessments and life cycle assessments are essential for identifying and mitigating environmental risks, ensuring compliance, and promoting sustainable aviation practices. The role of aviation insurance is vital in this issue. The advantage of it offering protection helps airlines lessen the financial impact of mishaps and accidents securing the industry. Insurance policies are important for giving airlines the financial security they need to carry on as usual after a negative incident happened with the business. Addressing these issues is undoubtedly very important for maintaining the growth and sustainability of the aviation sector. By integrating innovative technologies, 
collaborating with regulatory bodies and implementing comprehensive risk management strategies, the aviation industry can navigate these challenges and continue to play a pivotal role in global economic development.